Thanks for tuning in to the Prime Nostalgia, the podcast dedicated to entertainment from childhood. That's 80s, 90s, the latest 2000s. Because Prime know it all, and Lee Boy be wow. And he's from all that, dropping gems for you to find. So that's orange, that light is lying. Prime time is all the time. We talking about the classics, and there's so many. That's Lee Boy TV and P-R-I-M-E. Ow. What's up, people? It's me, P-R-I-M-E, coming back with another episode. This is the first of the year. Um, right? Yeah, this is the first of the year. Right. Here. First of 2022, man. We up, we up and running. Lee boy, say what's up. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up, y'all? Much, much blessings, many blessings, continue blessings in 2022. Uh, keep watching the show, all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, when I asked you to do this, like, mid-December, maybe? What's that? What's that? This topic? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> what you about to say? No, and no, I'm just saying, I asked, like, whenever we did, um, whatever episode we recorded, I was like, yeah, okay, I think I'm going to do a Q&A because I guess we could start off the year right with a Q&A. I don't know. I just, I just feel like... We, we got to get back in tune with the audience, man. It's yeah. so much fun when we get that audience interaction, um, especially on, you know, certain episodes when we're asking people their favorite Christmas songs was big for us last year, asking people, you know, their favorite holiday movies, so on and so forth. So just getting that audience participation makes the show so much funner. So... We wanted to start off the year, like you said, right, get a little question and answer session with our, with our, you know, our beloved fan base, our, our supporters, our listeners. Mm-hmm. So shout out to all you guys. I heard we got a, a good, a good little amount of questions. You know, Prime keep me out the loop. You keep, every, make everything a surprise for show day. So, so uh, I'm surprised to see what we got. Um, I did not keep you out the loop, by the way. It's just... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Some of these questions, I was like, "Dang, are we gonna get questions?" Even though we, we had questions, obviously from the start, but uh, I got it was it was to a point where I was like, "Are we gonna?" It's it's kind of like um the one hundredth episode. It was like everybody said there's like at the last day. So I was like, "Okay, okay all right." You no know, people procrastinate, man. That's just yeah. part of the game, part of the game. But appreciate you guys for participating, whether you procrastinated or not. It's much appreciated. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot to get through. So uh, I'm nope. going to start because this one is kind of Christmassy. Um, we got MDX Pods or uh, Ruin Our Childhood. Pod says, do you guys get any good uh, pop culture gifts for Christmas? Mm. Did I? I'm not. What, you, what, uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I did get uh, some memorabilia from... Um, uh, of Max and from Goofy Movie. So I got a Max t-shirt, which is always appreciated. You know, Max is the the little homie, the little homie that's the big homie. Uh, my kids got um, a Simon. Remember Simon? Okay. It's Simon, like, like from it, it like does the colors. It's like red, green, yellow. Oh, you have to Simon. follow it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like Simon says kind of thing. So, um, so yeah, that was cool. So I, they got some throwback stuff that definitely is nostalgic pop culture what about you okay i got i don't think i got nothing pop culture or nostalgic really i will get some laptop stickers and some more hoodies okay so, so you got a laptop for christmas okay yeah, yeah. a little yeah, some some okay step it up uh, yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna start getting some like some sticker, maybe all of that sticker, mm-hmm. or whatever the case is. Maybe a K and K because you gotta have that. But uh, you know, balance it out. But yeah, um, I was not, I didn't get nothing by will when it comes to that type of stuff. You gonna have to buy yourself some uh, on your own pop culture stuff. All right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. This is from. 80s, 90s, and 2000s classic, which is not 80s, 90s, and 2000s vibes. Um, but this question is tricky, at least to me, because uh, I don't know, it just is. I don't know what they mean per se, but they said, "What are your top three favorite NFL teams of all time?" I don't know. <laughs> Can you have three favorites? <laughs> I don't know if they mean. I don't know if they mean your favorite teams, like the teams, or your favorite. Oh teams, right, like, or like 
the year the of the team or the, the team? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, what do you? So how do you want to answer it? How do you want to answer it? Okay, I'm gonna say if we're talking about years. I think I got at least three. I I, can, I think I got think of three. We talk about years. The Super Bowl 49ers that went with Colin Kaepernick was was a great team. That was a good team. Defense um, was crazy on that team. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say just be, just because I'm 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 uh, biased. Besides the quarterback, the Jaguars team that went to the playoffs in in 20. 18. Team Defense was crazy. Defense. Was okay, crazy. that's when uh what Norman was there. Josh Norman was there. No, that's when they had Ramsey. Oh, that's Jaylen, what I'm thinking of. Calais that's Campbell. what I'm thinking. Jalen. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking of. Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, they had <clears> like they had a crazy defense, and the offense wasn't that bad. The offense was, was all right, besides the quarterback. Anyway, and then third. Because this is, I'm just talking about from my years of watching and not overall. Because if it was overall, then none of these teams will make it probably. But from my years watching, I'm going to say there was something magical about the uh, Baltimore Ravens that last mm-hmm. year when uh, Ray, uh, Ray Lewis's last year, yeah, yeah, that was a good team. I think that was oh, 2000, that team. Yeah. 2000 Ravens, um, I believe, yeah, so. Damn, this is difficult. I guess. I mean, I'm gonna just go with three cowboy years. I guess. <laughs> uh, I mean, you definitely any any of the Des Bryant Romo Cowboys. What it? What would that be? 2012 or something? <laughs> uh, you talking about the one where they made the playoffs? Oh, the the year of uh, the catch year where they lost uh, to Green Bay. Was that 2011? That was. I think that was 2015. 15 was it that I that late thing uh whatever year that was and i think that was the year who do we have at, at running back the year what was his name 27 i can't even remember his DeMarco name now. demarco murray that yeah, was see, good. i had a triple threat i ain't gonna lie I had, they was that like, was DeMarco good murray, and um that was and, a good year right there. Bryant, yeah. that part you know they just had a special place in my heart I love Des Bryant. Romo, not so much, but when you add DeMarco Murray with it, like you said, it was just an excellent triple threat. They've had that a couple times, actually. Back in the 90s, mm-hmm. um, they had the triple threat of Michael Irvin, Emmitt Smith, and obviously Troy Aikman. When my favorite player of all time, which I'm sure is uh, up there for you as well, because we are the prime nostalgia podcast, prime yeah. time and all that. So I think uh, you could choose any of those years with Dion. I think they won in 96. They won in 94, 5, 96. One, all of them years. You could choose one of them years, whatever one. Uh, whatever one Dion was on, I think it was 96. And then, um, you know, I'm going to just go ahead with these Cowboys right now. I'm going to go ahead and predict it. They're going to be in L.A. come February about 13th. I'm not predicting all that, but I will Super say. Super Bowl. I will say Diggs and Parsons are both doing very, very, very good. Michael over. Parsons is amazing. Trayvon Diggs, amazing. Um, our, you know, receiving core is looking good. That boy C.D. Lamb looking out of, you know, every once in a while he he duck in and do some stupid stuff. But, um hopefully we can get it together this year because the defense they got it all figured out and our offense just got to keep on keeping on come on Dak don't don't fall in the slump Dak don't do don't be dinking and dacking him to death all right we need some yards this year Quay this is from Quay Quay Morgan Hill hey she, she wants to know who are our celebrity crushes and she said it is oh here she go but... <laughs> she said well she got she got crazy more crazy questions she said one from the past and one now. Mm, I mean, look, I mean, <laughs> started reminiscing. Right? Uh, let me just start off and just say Nia Long, you know, long oh, time, know. long time crush. That. You know, she's amazing, beautiful, respectful lady, a, a lady in every sense of the word. So you could go ahead and just throw her out there. Um, what you got for a, a pass, I thought you was gonna say, uh, nah, <laughs> okay. I would say, uh, now is Terry Ellis, even now, is she like, like 50 something? But yeah, Terry Ellis. she's from Involved, so yes, uh. I mean, it's, 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 
it's an all time, but you would never go wrong with the Lexus feels. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And then, and if I'm saying now, I can't even really. I don't even know. I don't even think say, about them. But it's a magical Nikki. Say, magical know. Nikki is <laughs> number one. Let's just say that. Look, shout out she's to her. Disney, she's a celebrity in Disney. So yeah. I mean, yeah. you could always you could always be safe with like a Rihanna or something like that. That she's great. So yeah, everyone loves Rihanna. Uh, we got Urban Scott, Urban 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 Urban. urban huh? Yes, that 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 oh, that gets me. Okay, but yeah. Irvin says, will child star chat return to Clubhouse this year? Oh, look, he didn't ask the, the big question. <laughs> Clubhouse, you know what? Child star chat is close to returning. Uh, we When we started, we were promoting the secret project, which is on the cusp of being finished. So I had to take a little break to make sure I had my business in order, y'all. But since, uh, like I said, we very close to having that final project, I will be starting up the Child Star Chat. In fact, I just talked to my girl, Alicia, today. Shout out to Alicia Renee, um, who was a big supporter, along with Irvin, along with um, oh, so many others, okay. so many others. So, um, yeah, yeah. Shout out to y'all. And uh, yes, the Child Star Tra- Chat will be coming back to either Clubhouse we did like it also on fan base, so we'll make that decision in just a just a few weeks. Okay, okay. Uh, Maxwell, you know, I am Maxwell's house. Hey. Z100, you know, um, the whole New York City. Stuff. Yeah, hanging out with uh, Katy Perry and all the pop stars. You know, with. this man, this man was like one day Selena Gomez and uh, Billy. Billy Eilish, yeah, Eilish gave him the, some like, Jordans. The it was like Justin Bieber and the Jonas. I'm like, where are you at? Hey, he in high places. That's where he but, at. Um, he asks, what's the better sitcom finale? The Cosby Show or Fresh Prince? Mm, you don't have to, uh, you're going to have to remind me of these, Prime. What happened? I'll be honest with you. I don't know the Cosby Show finale. I know the <laughs> last, I know the last episode, but I don't know the actual. Okay. Does he mean, he means, well, when, he, when I say finale, I'm assuming he means the final scene, but he could mean the whole, just the episode in general. So if we talk about episodes in general, then I want to say uh, Fresh Prince because it's so it's more iconic, of, especially in memes. You know, the scene he just alone with the carpet and ain't, ain't no furniture. So I will say Fresh Prince. Wait, is that the last episode of Fresh Prince when they're he's alone in the Fresh Prince mansion? Yes, and or no, is he a, or is he no alone in the apartment? There's no furniture. It's just a rug, and he's just looking at the house. He, and he gonna turn the light off because they move out the Fresh Prince house, but Will is still living in the, in the guest house. So, yes. And then he goes in, and Carter's like, "Who turned off all the lights?" So, yeah. so uh, I'm gonna just go with you because, like you said, uh, I don't remember the Cosby uh, finale. Fresh Prince is probably a little bit more on the mind, and I'm in the. I, I like that sitcom just a little bit more. Although love Cosby didn't really grow up with it the same way I grew up with Fresh Prince, so I'll just roll with Fresh Prince. You mean to tell me you're? Well, I thought I thought uh, Felicia Rashad was your number one. What are you talking about? Ooh, don't yeah. don't get me started. I should have brought that out as my crush. Look, she's your number one. Yeah. Hey, Viv ain't got nothing on uh, Miss Huxtable. I'll tell you that. We ain't, he didn't ask about that though. He asked about the finale. <laughs> So we got Champ Fitness, uh, you know, a guy, Champ Fitness. If you could bring back a show from any classic era, what show would you pick? Um, and when he says bring back a show, in my mind, I'm assuming that he means bring back the show as well as like, like the like everything in the show. So like you can't change it for now, PG and yeah. So you, you, so if that's the case. I don't, I don't. I might have to say married with children. Mm, that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one to bring back. And, and I was thinking of something like uh, dinosaurs or something like that. Um, married with children would be a really good one to see right uh, right now. But I think the first thing I thought of for some reason was just Family Matters. Um, just bring seeing Urkel again as a either an would it be a so you're saying it can be a new article? Sh- no, no, it would be the, the same show. as that article, the same exact show. Ooh, 
just in nowadays. That's why that's why I said the show that I said, so I would say either Married with Children or Boy Meets World because you can put that in any era and it won't be right, Boy Meets World. Yeah, I don't think Family Matters would last as well, right? It wouldn't it wouldn't play out the same. The it just wouldn't be the same. Would not the not when they like in middle school, it probably would not, but you know, when he's in high school and college and and an adult, then I think that could last. It's more culture. It's more late nineties ish. You know, mm, I say if I could bring back a show, how about? I mean, Boondocks wouldn't quite be nostalgic, so I'll just say the PJs. Oh, you get Urko? Oh, uh, uh, not Urko. Uh, and we're get back in the booth. You said what? Aiden Murphy get back in the booth yeah (laughs) I mean those type of shows like were really um ahead of their time I think and especially the PJs so I think having it on right now people would appreciate it a lot more and obviously having Eddie Murphy on TV is just would be hilarious so I'll I'll just roll with that okay uh Rod Skinner 23 picking back off of what we just talked about he said oh he gave up gave a speech all right (laughs) man gave a speech all right i'm a 90s kid who still enjoys 80s and 90s sitcoms the storylines and jokes were always legit uh what is your favorite sitcom and which episode do you enjoy the most oh favorite sitcom of all time he said he said he's an 80s kid 90s he we wants to hear about 80s and 90s right yes Mm, I mean, I think there's a lot of great moments on Martin. A lot of great moments on Martin. I mean, when his his mom was it his mom or his grandma bit the pew. Oh, that's <laughs> she mama. was yeah that dancing at church yeah. and she went so crazy she didn't bit the pew. Uh, when Martin got beat up and obviously had by Tommy Hearns, that's one of the best uh, sitcom scenes of all time. Yeah, so uh, real quick, I'm going to just kind of breeze through my answer just real quick. Um, My favorite show of all time is Boy Meets World, so that is a sitcom, so I guess that counts. But uh, my favorite episode, there's a lot of episodes, but I'm going to just say one that you can watch and you don't have to be a fan of the show or whatever is the Disney episode. They went to Disney and, you know, had a little, you know, little romance and they kissed at the little... The fireworks and stuff, oh, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. I kind of remember that one. Yet. So, yes, <laughs> I will say that episode. All right, all right. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a lot of questions to so keep like trying to go back and forth. Oh yeah, let's so keep trying, it going. I'm trying to make sure I mark them. <laughs> all right. So we got Nick Stalger, or AKA uh, Lauren. Dope, so dope. Says, uh. Who oh wait, 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 wait! Before you go, for, that's uh, Nick ninety five. Yes. Okay, this is from the All That reunion. Yes, yeah, she won one of the contests. She was one of the contest winners. Shout out to Nostalgia. She says, uh, "What is your favorite guest or slash dream guest?" Now, I know Lauren personally likes this group called Big Time Rush. So, Lauren, if we can get <laughs> we can get Big Time Rush on for you. We can try, but other than Big Time Rush for Lauren, who uh, is your dream or favorite favorite guest? I'm gonna say favorite guest. Favorite? You gonna make us choose between all of our friends and family and I supporters? Didn't, I didn't make you choose nothing. She's the one that asked the question. I mean, in general, the episode that she was on was obviously amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we had all the all the homies from all that, and that was great. And we've had uh, Keenan separately. We had Kel on that episode, Josh, and we had Christy, everybody. Um, I will say, though, one of my favorites, um, because we did, and we also had Gabrielle on that all that reunion, mm-hmm. I'll just say having Aria Brooks on was amazing. She's uh, And we had the pleasure of having her mom on as well. Um, just being able to connect with the current cast, and I would say the same thing about Gabrielle, it has been a great way to bond back in and get a loop back into the current Nickelodeon. So I'll just say shout out to my girl, Aria, man. She she blessed us a few times in person in Atlanta. 
Also, she was, uh, you know, she blesses with her presence on the podcast and she's working on some new stuff. So you guys make sure you stay in tune with her. Shout out to the next generation. So that's who I would say was uh, probably one of my favorites as far as like a dream. I said this a couple of times. I started off the podcast saying Will Smith would be the dream, but I have moved on and I am sticking to Ariana Grande, uh, Dang, form, well, you know, Nickelodeon go, teammate. She Jada team Nick. Go down that, that, that far? <laughs> you said what? Jada made his talk go down that far in the podcast? <laughs> I guess so, man. So, uh, yeah, I got I got Ariana as dream. Who you got, man? All right. So, when it comes to favorite guest, so I'm gonna say, I'm assuming I'm gonna say favorite guest is guess where I had the most fun. Which I had fun in all of that one, but I would say, not being biased, not being biased to the all that, all that. So not being biased to Keenan and all them. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna say Teron Brooks because that was a good he, one. He yeah. got the same, so we were singing with him, and it was it was fun. So I would probably say that one aside from everybody that's not in all that. Yeah, no, Teron uh, Teron Brooks was a great episode. Tommy Davidson was a f- hilarious and fun yes. episode. Oh, and Cherry. Cherry was a great episode. Cherry we had some technical episode. difficulties yeah. on that one, but just go back and watch it. Great story about Prince and uh, Angelique, Marcus Polk. Um, and then shout out to Marcus for being one of our first guests that we've had to, that we had together. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know you had some uh, previous to that, but those are some of the names that definitely stand out. I would just say as far as funny, Tommy Davidson was, was up there as well. Uh, but I just always love connecting so, Tommy with the, was the young generation. You said what? Tommy Davidson was doing bits on the show. Oh, he was. He was. I was trying to join him too. That was when I was in my heyday of trying to be on stage. Uh, so shout out to Tommy. All right. So we got we got this guy, this random guy, uh, you know, Alex hey. Chauncey. Hey guy. Oh, that guy. Okay. Look, I thought you were serious. <laughs> yeah. This random guy. He said, Who haven't y'all interviewed yet that you really want to have on the show? So we kind of just answered that. So I'm gonna say go back a few seconds and, and listen to our answers but yeah yeah i mean that would be a dream i could t- i have a maybe a little bit of a different answer that we need you know no, just kind of okay. from the from the community let's, let's, we got a couple let's let's be honest we need little fetus <laughs> you need little fetus on the show oh yeah, <laughs> yeah we need little fetus with his little balled up behind look no uh <laughs> seriously if it's like so, this because uh, this person is not necessarily a dream person, but I would right. really like to have him on as old as ones because this man, I'm sure. Oh he, yeah, he knows. He knows. He knows a lot. I mean, he knows a lot. I mean, so, going down that rabbit hole, you know, we got to have Mr. Leon, Leon himself, yeah. not me, the yeah. the real Leon. All right, um, we got to have him on. But like from people we personally know that I think it's overdue to have them on. Uh, we definitely got to have Lori Beth Denberg. She hasn't mm-hmm. popped up quite yeah, yet. So I'll, we will Lisa be reaching there. Re- reach out to, to her. Uh, I would love to have obviously Nick Cannon and Amanda on. Those would be okay. uh, a couple of people that, you know, come on, slide through. Y'all watching this. They ain't watching. But uh, <laughs> if you're hearing this, if somebody tag you, Come yeah. on by. Let us know you know we about the Prime Nostalgia Pod. Look, yeah, we can we can start it off. Just tag them to death. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Left to start a campaign. All right. So uh, we got everything nineties podcast. Um, and she says, "How did you come up with the concept for your pod?" So that's one. And I'm gonna just say because uh, I wanted to do something that obviously that I could talk about for 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 a long time, like. Forever. If I was yeah. doing like, <laughs> I can talk I about nostalgia like, forever. Yeah. <laughs> if I was doing like something like, I was talking about like Cheez Its. Like, it ain't nothing. You can't talk about Cheez Its, but for so long. Hey, speak for yourself. They got the white cheddar cheeses. They got the extra cheesy. So you, so you can they got the red Cheez-Its. hots now. Red so, hots. So too. you can talk about Cheez Its for one, for one day a week. Hey, you should, you should see my long. pants. You can see my pantry right now. I've got a whole lot of content up there. <laughs> Any, anyway, <laughs> I obviously can talk about nostalgia forever, so that's why I picked it. Uh, you know, I narrowed it down to like the three of what I feel like I could talk about forever. And, you know, um, and this is, I, I mean, I guess this is a question towards you too. 
Uh, what are the three biggest lessons that you've learned so far from podcasting? Oh, well, that's, a, that's heavy. <laughs> yes. Oh, what like uh, scheduling guess, and timing and yeah, scheduling and being organized? Yeah. Bro. Um, they, look real quick before you say so. Uh, Instagram just reminded me that it's the one year anniversary of when we were supposed to get this guest like thirty times. Oh they, lord! Oh, they lord. just reminded me. I was like, so yeah, <laughs> yes is scheduling is probably the hardest thing for me. Yeah, I mean, me. I think it was a little bit easier in the beginning of the pandemic because everybody was literally at home. They had nothing to do between March and oh, June well, 2020. Well, let me be honest. That, that person was not doing anything. I mean, oh, no, no. They was doing on. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they might have been doing a little something. Come on. give them, Shoot yeah, them some bail. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, once things open up, you know, we were still dedicated to being at home and podcasting and things like that, staying safe, you know, staying out the way. But a lot of people just went right outside. So it just became more and more difficult to find people at home. So I think it was definitely a lesson of just understanding, um, you know, understanding people's schedules and being organized about things like that. Um, and then, I mean, the other, the other lessons, I guess, would be more towards, making content and having people like it and staying consistent and things like that. Uh, con definitely consistency is a key. Communication would be on the scheduling side. Um, and then uh, I learned a lot about, you know, when people can tell when you're being genuine and when you're actually interested in the things that you're talking about and people, you know, love that about us most of the time, but other times when we just rush topics and get something out, maybe it won't get as much love. Maybe it's harder for us to really connect with the content and put it out there. So one thing that I, you know, would want to to keep going and moving forward is just keep talking about things that we love which is nostalgia which is this stuff so it's not like we went totally off base but every once in a while you know we try to just fit things in where they don't there's, fit there's, so. right, let's be honest uh since this is a cute year sometimes when people have canceled us we had to oh oh, oh, <laughs> oh yes, the day of. Uh, you see ever see this movie look <laughs> you ever seen that movie it's yeah, been, we start pulling out that's when we start looking up oh what anniversary is it the the 42nd anniversary of this movie <laughs> oh it's the 23rd anniversary we gotta do it's the jordan year this year look yeah, there have been there have been times where the day of and we get somebody canceled it's like uh it's thursday podcast comes on friday so we so got to do something the lesson is what have a backup plan have a couple backup episodes in the tuck um yeah we still learning that lesson so yeah here we are <laughs> yeah well i mean hey, the backup episodes came in handy for they did for, came in handy for so that's we, we we up there all right uh this is from rebecca rebecca reels okay witty rebecca uh she said what is one of your favorite interview moments mm -hmm. um oh, i kind of alluded to it earlier though when tommy davidson had his bit and this is in the very beginning of his uh of the episode he kind of let me get in with him a little bit and throw out a couple jokes and it felt good to you know be able to swing with uh, one of the heavy hitters not that I was getting on him it wasn't no kind of battle or nothing like that but we was just going back and forth having a lot of fun so I'll never forget that um you know we had like, some great moments with John Amos um and then I always say when I ask Keenan about his survivor's remorse, I'll, this is I just holds a special place in my heart because I just kind of seen him cringe a little bit, but he answered it with so much grace and dignity. So yeah, appreciate my brother. Like a champ, man. He Media did. Training is crazy. Yeah, I, I definitely put him on the high seat. Like, hey, bro, you left us behind, behind. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, those are probably be my top moments, starting with Tommy Davis. I said, I'm saying one of my favorite interview moments is when one of our guests told us we was trash to our faces. Oh, I still got that <laughs> clip saved, ready to go. Look, like, you want to see it right now? I'm, not, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. Let's yes, not get no. into that. Uh, I, I would probably, I alluded to it earlier. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say Tehran because this man, we got this man to sing mm -hmm. and we were like just having fun. Uh, but if not that, uh, I'm going to say, when we got Keenan to do the impressions, that, that was dope. that was fun. Um, we wish I had more people doing. We, should, oh, we, got, to, we got more to do. Anyways, uh, that and then I liked the um, the all that uh, seven through tens that we did. The that was fun. 
that was fun too because you know you got Lisa, you got Jack, you got Gio, you got uh, Brian, you got Christy, Kirky, and uh, you know we just we just we just wait. Fun. You forgot a name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who oh, I forgot? What you mean, our guy, man? He wasn't there. Oh, he wasn't there. No, Colty. He was not there. Oh, okay. Well, he showed up at the other one. So yeah, shout out to my guy. Yeah, Colt. he no, he showed. He didn't show up. Well, he he didn't show up at that one because he showed up uh, at the main reunion. Yeah. 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 You know, we still we still got love for Colty. Colty still. Colty still the guy. Better have love for Colt. Shout out. <laughs> uh, back to the best podcast. David and Grace says, "If you could be in any sitcom, past the present, what would it be?" Mm, you know what would be so dope i mean just to be in i uh, say by the bell would be great okay. <laughs> that's just random um say by the bell parenthood i would love to be with somebody in there uh oh sister wendy. sister there's just so many there's so the many parenthood. what was which one you're not gonna be window in the parenthood oh look <laughs> That would be hilarious. There's just so many, um, you know, the ones we always mention, Fresh Prince and A Family Matters. What would you what would you want to be in? Now, if I'm gonna be in this, I'm not gonna be because if I'm gonna be like quote unquote myself, I'm not gonna be in Martin because Martin be making fun of everybody. I ain't trying to get yeah. You definitely gonna be killed by Martin. Yeah, I would probably have to say. I'll be like a Jazzy Jeff ish type of person to. I'll be like the, a Jazzy Jeff to Carson. So like I'll be Carson's friend, but cool. And they'd be like, "Why are you hanging with Carson?" I'm like, "Cause he's doing my homework or something." You know, like I'll be that type of. I try to be that type of uh, you know person. So I guess that means I'm bringing back Fresh Prince, which they are. So hey, plug. <laughs> ooh, you know, would be a good. Ooh, what would be a hilarious show? And this is not even like because I want to be in the storyline of the show, being on set with the Steve Harvey show was said. <laughs> that would be, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously you got Romeo, Bullethead, Lori Beth was up there, you know, my my mentor, Wendy Raquel Robinson. Um, and what was uh, Seti's girlfriend name? Oh, she LaVita. LaVita Alizé. LaVita, yeah. That would be a really good set to be on. In fact, a lot of the, you know, I love all the all the sets and shows where the main star is a comedian. You got Bernie Mac show, DL Hughley show. Any of these shows would be hilarious. But I'm gonna just go ahead and say Steve Harvey show for now because that was definitely uh, a staple in the in the culture at the time. Hmm. Uh, half and half. Half and half was a vibe. One on one was a vibe. One on one was about half and half. I would definitely like to be like uh, essence something. Oh, like you just want to be you want to be in the yeah. show show. Yes, like I would definitely would like to be essence Atkins' best friend or something like that. There you I, go. I, you know, <laughs> no, that show was that show was cool though. Um, all right, your people. I'm I'm and I'm claiming this is your people for this question. All right. Uh, the coffee cup. Mm, okay. What's up? What's up, coffee? Wait, they asked they they be asking some crazy stuff. What what they say? First of all, it starts out with do men really. That's the question for that's the first that do men really. Okay. So, so what you what you this is gonna be something. Yeah, we already know it's gonna go off to the left. So go ahead. Do men really want a lady in the streets? <laughs> in the sheets. I said, <sighs> man, I don't know if I can answer this question, but sure. We I don't know if we gonna do this on the show. So if, this, if this ain't that it, kind of show. If you see it, if this is gonna be an extra. We're gonna send it just to you, I guess. <laughs> Jessica Taylor X, can you share an embarrassing moment? Oh Lord, she didn't want to call ourselves out now. Okay, all right. Well, look, I got an embarrassing moment. I got stuck in the elevator one time. I was very young, and uh, you know, so okay, I'm just I went on vacation to Atlanta. And you know, like I was younger. You know, when you're young, I don't know why you want to be first, like first in line or whatever, first. Mm-hmm. So 
you know, I was first on the elevator. Elevator closed right behind me, and yeah, I, I was stuck by myself on the elevator uh, for like a good 45 minutes. Um, so yeah, Crying and all that, for sure. I was, no, you, you know, what made it more embarrassing is, you know, I can hear the people on the next elevator, and that one was working. So I hear my siblings audibly laughing. I hear them like, ha, 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 ha. like I, I can hear all of that. And I'm like, this ain't funny. And they just, they just like legit just laughing. They just having a ball. They loving it. So obviously when I got off the elevator, every every trip after that, uh, I'm like, you you use the elevator first. So like you go in there first, then I follow you or whatever. But yeah, so I think I have a legit reason to if I was scared of elevators. I have a legit reason because I got stuck in one. Yeah. All right. And embarrassing for me. Uh, you know, you have to be embarrassed to be embarrassed, I guess. I don't never get it. What about <laughs> oh, he gonna call me out? That, oh no, okay, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm I'm saying, is it's like it's somebody and they kind of they like they oh uh, see so here we go. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say, no, nah, we was, I was A1, man, I was good, good then, um, yeah, I mean, you ever try to dance with somebody in the club, and they look back at you, and just be like, nope, <laughs> like, that didn't happen to me, that was pretty bad, um, stuff like that, but in general, I don't get too embarrassed, y'all, please, let me know, if I didn't do something crazy, Going on Instagram live and don't know what you're doing and staring at the camera. That's hella embarrassing. Um, that's embarrassing, but you can delete that. Can yeah, delete yeah, that. I just delete that. Uh, I would say, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get too embarrassed. I just, oh, this is easy, actually. Let me take that back. Rewind. Y'all didn't see when I got on. Uh, if it, you ain't seen it, it's on my Instagram when I hopped up on that stage. That comedy show, you'd have seen it. You saw it, probably. That's not, that's not it was it. you wasn't there. You didn't see I, it. Okay, I saw the clip. you heard it. You can I hear it on the ground. I saw it. It was but, bad. It was bad. But that was like your first show. So it was like it's not really the second one was, was bad kept, too. You kept doing it. Wait, kept, the second one was worse. So I'll just say my my short stint at uh stand-up comedy has been tumultuous. But I'm not scared. I'm gonna get back up there. But the first couple shows, ooh, that's embarrassing. That's Corday. <laughs> that's the homie chasing the bag. Shout out to y'all. Uh, we got Pop Capsule Podcast. They say they have two questions. First one is, what is your favorite '90s snack or food? Mm. I was big on. What's the one Bart Simpson was on? Uh, you talking about his drink? Nah, he he was on a snack too, wasn't he? Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, I, oh, Butterfinger. Simpsons, Simpsons was never really. My... Yeah, he he. I. Well, you see him like Butterfingers is not still here today. I know, but it's it was just nine. I don't know. I just I haven't eaten a Butterfinger in years. So, um, okay, so back. Know. I mean, same thing with uh, a, a Twinkie. Like that was popping for me in the nineties. I have not eaten one in a long time, so that would I be. A... They went out of business. No, nah, they still they back. Oh, they okay. back, and they well, still in the stores. Um, I would say Dunkaroos a surge, for sure. I mean, Yoo Hoo, Yoo was fire mm-hmm. for me. Okay. Uh, fire drinks. Um, I mean, Bubblicious Bubble Gum, Zebra Gum, okay. fire. That zebra gum was on fire. Now, uh, and remember one. the the okay. chew bubble gum that was like baseball. It was like chewing tobacco, but it was just bubble gum. I don't know. So, you know, but go ahead. Was I just a, a bubble gum head? I I don't. Know. But go ahead. I, I was gonna say um, I got one, but it's not a it's not a you know a snack or a food. It's just the old school looking, the fun, vibrant looking restaurants. Like. Like just like McDonald's or like you know, like well, McDonald's to, playhouses and look fun. Yeah, now you go into it and it's just like it just looks. Yeah, that, do they even have playhouses? They don't no, do that no more. Yeah. They don't. I mean, they don't got Ronald. They don't got McDonald. They don't. They don't no, got nobody. Got, uh, hamburger. Hamburglar. Nope. Nobody. <laughs> and then, 
uh, their second question, which is a little more harder, which you're going to have to think about, which uh, we might have to cut it and we might have to go to break on this one. Uh, what are your top three Disney movies? Oh, that's not hard for me. It's not, not hard too. for me. Not it's not hard. hard for me, but the third one I always got to like. I always got to like think about it. I mean, I just go with the golden era, which for me was uh, Beauty and the Beast, Toy Story, Lion King. I think those were the three that were kind of in the row, like uh, as far as their big blockbuster okay. so releases. You're So you are doing Pixar and Disney, right? Yeah. That's I mean, why. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's why. Okay. Just, yeah. I mean, Pixar, obviously, it wasn't as big as a solo entity back in 90. What, what was the year with that when Toy Story came out? Probably 95. Um, Because that's literally the golden era for me. There are some great movies out that have come out recently. Um, Obviously, we're not counting any Marvel or Star Wars, anything like that. Um, And it's hard to leave out Pixar. But as far as you know top three those would be that's that's when i really thought disney was in its golden era was during that time and that's when i was young enough to really appreciate it well i i went with all um i went with all disney movies i didn't know they meant disney and pixar so i got lion king uh goofy movie and empress new groove okay and then uh with aladdin as an honorable so. Mm, I'm gonna say if you if you want to take out pack uh, the Pixar, I would definitely throw Aladdin in right there. That was right in the golden area as well. So okay, so uh, quick break. This has been the Q and A session. It's been amazing. So many great questions and answers. Hopefully, you guys appreciate our answers. But it's break time. We got to play something for the people. I mean, we just heard about Disney movies. Can we pick something from one of those soundtracks? I mean, Lion King. Um, so many oh, great. I was definitely got to say so many queen, greats there. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's what's the song? Be prepared. Be prepared. Ooh, one of the best. Be prepared for the second, the second, uh, second dose. Okay, well, not dose. Okay, let's be prepared for the second half of the song. second half. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, we are back with the special edition Q&A session from the Prime Nostalgia Podcast. I'm Lee Boy, I'm right here next to Prime. We got a couple more questions left, uh, so let's bring them home uh, to the home stretch. Let's round yeah. third and hit home base. We what you got it. for us, Prime? So No More Late Fees says, who are you manifesting to have on the show this year? This year. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just manifest. Don't we gonna get Nick Nicholas. Cannon this year. Okay. Okay. We gonna get Nicholas Cannon. Uh, I don't know his middle, middle name. It's probably something like Matthew. I don't know. <laughs> you know his family religious now. Um, we need. I think that would be a great, a great a cap in year in book in a goal a, a good achievement something to look up to because obviously that man's out of here as far as his reach to the world and the brands that he's uh, behind and obviously now he has his new talk show so i think that would be a great accomplishment to get uh nick cannon to join you know we've got we've had keenan and kill josh well, we had all the major all that's except Lori beth we need you as well but uh nick cannon and then uh should i just say fluffy we get fluffy Gabriel Iglesias, that would be crazy okay, too. Okay. But uh, I think that moment might be a might be a, I don't know is that harder or easier to pull. I mean, he's out of here too. I don't know. Yeah, he's doing the show at the Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium. Yeah, that's maybe I could pull up. No, I don't know. <laughs> that's All a right. big stadium. <laughs> so I'm gonna just man. So okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. From people that I know, from people that I know. I'm gonna manifest because you know I got I'm, I have a little bit of connections. I'm gonna say I want to manifest to have Megan Good. Okay, okay, okay. Because we could, that could happen, you know, cousin Skeeter and all the other stuff. We can we can potentially. That's big sis. Out. That's big sis. We got some connections. And uh, you know, all right. Um, 
the nostalgia test podcast said if you could live as yourself oh my gosh i think we answered this but it's cool if you could live as yourself as a part of any sitcom which one would it be why what sort of role would you play in the sitcom so initially i did say fresh prince and i said i'll be carlton's like cooler jazzy jeff ish best friend but for y'all nostalgia test i would change my answer i will give um Let's say Boy Meets World, I'd be the black kid that Topanga likes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, <laughs> look, he didn't gave himself an excellent role. Uh, yeah, I mean, what? like, you know, uh, Topanga and Corey, they break up like 50 times. So how about every time? How about I can be the rebound? Not, not the world. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Not the rebound guy. You know, it's like. The side piece? When they break up, she goes to me and then like when. We break up, and she goes to him, and then it was like back and forth. They was back and forth the whole season, anyway. So, all right. You might as well throw yourself in the hat. Huh? Yeah. Just throw yourself in there too. Uh, well, or, when I, I s- could, or I could be the full time, and she could just never go to Corey. Corey could just be with Sean or whatever the case is. I mean, you you writing the story now? Go ahead. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> well, on Steve Harvey show, I didn't really specify what I would be. I would probably be um, definitely part of Bullethead Romeo's crew. I would just be the smart one. Neither one of them was smart. So they need a smart guy that can actually help them do some stuff that's not as cool. Um, maybe is a little bit of a square snitch on them a little bit. I mean, that was kind of Lori Best character a little bit, but um, you could have a guy doing that one. So move out the way, Lori Best. That would be me. Um, if I'm switching up my answer, uh, I would love to be the kid on Fresh Prince. Excuse me, little Nikki. Um, Ross Bagley. Okay. Yeah, Ross Bagley. Excuse me, sir um that would be dope um or i said uh, i'd love to be on the parenthood that would be fun with nicholas and cc and just being in their crew would be they had a couple friends that had reoccurring roles so i think that would be fun as one as well so good one what's that i can be on a jamie fox show Mm, that's a good one person fancies with rather than jamie fox and he's trying to convince (laughs) her to leave me the whole five seasons hey yeah, that that's not bad. It that's not bad either. That's a good answer, sir. Good answer. Yeah. That's probably my best answer I ever gave. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh we got uh Quay again. We got Quay again. Hey, got what up, Quay? Questions. A few questions here. She says, um, could you date a woman stronger than you? I don't care, but some people do care about. Physically, they want me stronger. I don't care. Wait, physically or meant? Wait, physically? Both, if it's both, I don't care. If I like the person, I like the person. I'm kind of scared of getting my behind whipped. Now, so now look, <laughs> especially now, you know, you women be crazy, man. I don't know if the physical, like mentally, yes, I could accept that. I need you know that mental toughness. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but physical toughness. I mean, I gotta, I gotta have some over. I don't know. That's just me. Look, can't be having no kid. fear to go to no, bed and stuff like that. Why you have to be scared just because she's struggling? So, 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 is your, so is your girl no, scared no, of you? No, okay, I don't. Okay, it is. Okay, it is. I don't okay, but women are different. Look, women are different with their look. I ain't gonna get into that. Wilson, I mean, if, if Asia Wilson right now was just swole and like put on like muscle, I would not be like, all right, you're stronger than me, but okay. No, nah, I'm gonna have to lift some weights, but go ahead. <laughs> I'm getting in the gym. Uh, she said, "What's your biggest regret?" Mm. Man, she went deep. <laughs> oh, she got another one. Well, I'm like, I already got my answer for the other one, but this one I know how I'm stopped. So, uh, let's say, mm, I don't know. Actually, we might have to scratch that because I legit don't know. I'm stumped. I mean, I got a couple if I'm getting real. I mean, I didn't drop out of college. I didn't got a DUI. I didn't have some stuff going on. Like, I didn't a, have, I mean, have my job broke. I mean, I, I regret going out that night. There's a bunch of stuff. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to hit me in the DM. We could talk about it, I guess. I, I ain't willing. I mean, there's three possible answers right there. So, okay. dark stuff. I would say, uh, I guess, regret car accidents. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's some. I got some regrets. 
I need to spell them all. You got three to choose from. uh, Quay says, what's the most embarrassing moment you've had while podcasting? Well, Quay, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I'm not going to put this person out there because I still love her. You know, she's, I still love her. She, she's still cool. Still talk. Yeah, there's one person tell us basically that we was trash to our face. Mm-mm-mm. And um, yeah. But, uh, well, that one was funny. And then I'll just say in general, trying to set up that one guest so many times and getting shut down. And when people just don't pop up on, on the link and you just sitting there, it's kind of just sad and embarrassing. Like, <laughs> So um, it's, it's been be a couple like, of y'all. So I did for it to be like multiple days. Though. It feels like yeah. one or two days. I'm like, okay, I can get it. But like, it was like it was going on like four or five days in a row. We we we, we just like. And then you say you're gonna be there. Just say you're not gonna be there. Don't say you're gonna be there. And then while we in there, text us like, oh, sorry, I couldn't make it. Like, no, you could because you right here texting me right now. You can't make it. So it ain't that big of an emergency. No. But, uh, shout out! Shout, shout out, out to that AC. person. I, I didn't reach out to you again. You better hit me back. Stop playing. Uh, we Last got chance. Brett, we got Brett Wilson Art says, "Which was your favorite episode of the podcast? What's your favorite episode of the podcast?" Um, I'm you know all that reunions high up there for me. Cherry Johnson, Tommy Davidson. Um, when we said also, uh, John Amos, big. Yeah, I know T- Teron Brooks is a big one for you. Um, love what we did with Aria Brooks. I would just say, I would have oh. to still say. I got one. I, I mean, I would just still say with all that reunion, because that was just a great feat for us to pull together. We had five people meet the the cast members. And uh, so there was a great little, little lead up to it with the contest. But um, what you got? I'm going to say, because. You know, having having we having um we like we had him on the show, and then you know it was it was a while. So we you know we got to bring him back because he was cool. I had a good time. I'm gonna say RJ. RJ was dope. RJ was RJ. It was dope. It was a dope time. I had a good time. Yeah, RJ was good. I mean, a lot of our you guys got to go back and definitely watch some of our early episodes. We had Marcus Pope. We had RJ. We had Jermaine Williams um we had a bunch of guys in the beginning that really helped support this podcast and got us up and running so shout out to everybody that was there in the early days and um yeah man when podcasting was pure now we just got to do this every week because y'all listening and y'all support let's end it with a bang you don't know how much of a bang it is like, oh is lord it? done now this relax from, now this is from max Ready all right intro. This is a doozy question. You're in, a, you're in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, Lord. What do you do if the other podcaster was bitten by a zombie and you're stuck in a in secure house together? What do I do? So, like, if I get bit by a zombie, what are you right. doing? And if you get, yeah. Basically, how I'm going to get you out this house. Or how you how you handle I ain't leaving. No, no, this is a populace. I am not leaving this house. Um, we gonna have to get your zombie behind out of this house somehow. Now, whether it's can we entice you with blood, an animal? Um, I would say I'll put on key, the Keenan and Kill Halloween episode will get you right outside with your Halloween zombie behind. <laughs> You'll be watching um, two heads are better than none on the front yard. Quick. <laughs> now I'm gonna just just for for a preference, just for you for preference. Imagine that the house that we was in in L.A. Right? Is there by chance because you know like you you can go in through the back door and come in through the exit and all that kind of stuff? What if you are on the little balcony part, right above you know where the little playground was at? What if I just lock you out right there? I mean, so you would so you would run. You would you would use yourself as bait run around and hopefully lock me outside that's your yes because there's so many exits so you if i lock all the exits and then go out that exit and then come in through the other exit 
I mean, it sounds like a, the plan makes sense. It's just so many variables. Yeah, you yeah, know, you have to make don't sure trip. each door is locked. Yeah, don't trip don't and fall do now because I'm gonna catch you while you're doing all this running. Yeah, so there, there's a lot zombies. To, we don't, you know, around. we just plow right through. We don't, we don't gotta dodge or fall like so. If you don't, don't stall. I'm right on your heels now. <laughs> So pretty much part of the trying, zombie I team, to bro. Toss them off the balcony. Uh, pretty much. I'm gonna try to. Throw them oh yeah, I'm gonna hit you with something. You're gonna get hit. You get too much I close. Get hit, but the object is to not get bit. So. All that podcast and stuff go right out the window. That's what it come down to. Ain't <laughs> don't got nothing to do with it. You ain't just nothing but a regular zombie. I don't care if I knew so, you. I don't so. care who you is. Uh, you gonna get clocked upside the head. You get too close. I'm going to put on the Keenan and Kill because if you got any semblance of your old self, that Keenan and Kill will draw you right outside. So, so. it's not going to be like how um how the shows are and they're like, it's not going to be like how the shows are where they're like, hey, it's me. It's Johnny. And he's going to be like, Johnny. Johnny. You got to oh, yeah, take man. control of this. You got to take control. Not like that. No, when they thinking, oh, I'm not gonna cross over it, bro. You crossing over right now? They always think they they can save them right to the end. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I can't wait to see you looking like you are gonna cross over. I'm gonna kick you in your behind, <laughs> taking you right outside with the trash. Ain't no way I'm letting you cross over in front in my presence. It ain't gonna happen. I'm letting you know. Well, look. yeah. So, guys, 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 it's a new year, so we're gonna try to do some new stuff this year. We're gonna try, try. To do more Patreon stuff, whether it's like once a month, whatever. We don't try to do something. We yeah, try we to gonna, be more active. Yeah, let's do some Patreon, man. Let's do a couple uh, times. A couple times more, a month. More, more TikTok active, more Facebook active, more Twitter active. We're gonna try to just take try to take over. Um Lee Boy, where to find you? Tell everybody where to find you. Man, man, man. You can find me at Lee Boy TV, LeeBoyTV.com, where we are looking to become more active. I'm also on Twitter at Lee Boy TV. Hey, I didn't I tweeted a couple of times this past week. Uh never know what you might see. Um, following me there. I'm not on TikTok uh, too much. You can probably find my profile, but yeah, in general, Lee Boy TV everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you can follow me at KVNG Prime Time. I'm gonna try to do more like so I, I got a twitch but i'm not gonna be gaming i want to do like more like um i don't know maybe we, like we can get on there and watch a movie or we could just get on there i could just be chilling with people in there you know um we got uh we got more stuff coming up and um yeah anything else you want to mention not just what we always mention Prime time. It's all the time. All the time, baby. We out. Prime nostalgia. Thanks for tuning in to the Prime Nostalgia, the podcast dedicated to entertainment from childhood. That's 80s, 90s, the latest 2000s. Because Prime me know it all, and Lee Boy be wow. And he's from all that. Dropping gems for you to find. So that's orange, that light is lying. Prime time is all the time. We talking about the classics, and there's so many. That's Lee Boy TV and P R I M E. Ow.